And the reason I wanted to do that is because <coughs> Yeah, I'm going to do it that way. That way I will keep all the mess in one dish. Mama, I love the food. Hmm? I love the food. It's because you are watching cartoon, you are not going back to your cartoon. But you can get a dish, put your food in it, and put it in the fridge for later. I'm not going to eat alcohol. I'm not going to play alcohol too, yeah? Didn't it? If you don't eat your food, I don't know why I will let you play cartoon. No, 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 no. If you are full, I can understand it. But if you have not touched your food yet, I don't know what I need to understand no, 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 no. there. But yes, if you are full, you can put the rest it. in the dish and put it away. No, I eat it. Oil. I eat it free oil. Yes, I know you ate, so you can put the rest of it if you are full. You do not need to force yourself. You need to understand when you are full and when you are not. And when you are full, don't force yourself to continue eating. I gave you a dish there. Did you see it? Yeah, that one. And remember, don't dirty the towel. Okay, so I put that at the cotton box. No, 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 no. Take it to your table. And do it there. Why did you take the food with the hand that is clean? How are you going to open the fridge now? You wash your hand before you open the fridge. So now we have our eggs here. You can just beat it up. This is done. Let's open. The is like full. Our cream cheese here. Yeah. They don't go. It's what you can eat. You have not eaten anything yet. I did. Why do you have crumbs in your dish? You didn't put in the trash. You are putting it in the sink. Is that what you're supposed to be doing? Okay, so they came from the freezer. When you purchase cream cheese, you put it in the freezer. When it comes out, it will become crumbly, but that's totally fine. So when it's on sale, we like to stock up on them. You can make potato soup, cream, potato soup, cream cheese, potato soup, and you can make cream cheese cake with them. So. I like to purchase them and sell to use. For things that will go on sale, I don't like to pay full price for them. So the egg is, let's just say the egg is about a dollar. It's less than that, a dozen. Watch, Gabriel, if you are passing by there, watch the tripod. And the cream cheese is about 40, yes, that's the one, 49 cents mm. each. So we can do the math there. And the sour cream will be more than a dollar, I think, each. So it will, tell, it will give you an idea how much it costs you to make it yourself. If they, if they, they, they let's say the sugar and the, the sugar and the egg. So 
are Uganda together, cream cheese is four dollars. So that's five dollars. Five dollars right there. Gabriel, be careful when you are passing by there. Did you hear me? You do not run. So that's five dollars. I will say the soft cream. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, but I will say two fifty for both of them will be a good estimate. So that's seven fifty for everything here, and the we can save a dollar each for those crackers. That would be two dollars. Yeah, so that's nine dollars fifty. The butter was a dollar. Jaden, go eat. Mm -hmm. Can we eat all of it? Not necessarily all of it, but go eat. So far, you have not eaten. Are much. you only one? You are not going back to your computer if you don't eat your food. You are not going to eat all of it, but you eat. <laughs> so. We have uh, two dollars from the crackers, so that's nine dollars. The ingredients we have not forgotten anything. The butter, the butter is two dollars. So let's try it again. Egg and sugar, one dollar. Four dollar for the cream cheese. So that's five dollars right there. Two fifty for the sour cream. That's seven fifty. And two dollars for the crackers. That's nine fifty. And the butter is like a dollar eighty-eight or something like that. So let's just run it to two dollars. So that's eleven fifty right there for the amount of cream cheesecake we need to be making a dollar eleven dollar fifty is what the ingredient cost us <coughs> Angelique Yeah Viens prendre l'assiette pour mettre la nourriture de Jaren dedans Yeah Look there to see Can you get a bigger? Yeah. Pull his spoon in. So for eleven fifty, we are going to make this cream cheese. Oh, it's going to take milk as well. But with all the rounding that we did, it's going to be enough to include that in. Angelique, I told your sister earlier, be careful by the toy car. I am always careful. Angelique, that statement is not accurate. You are always careful. You sure about that? What? I'm not. I'm just sometimes. So use your word carefully. Did you hear me? When you take that dish, you should have get those crumbs off the table, right? How come you didn't do it? When you ate, it's not clean neither. I told you, when you get up, pick up the mess you have on your side. When you do that, your sister does that, you won't have much to clean up later. Gabriel, go clean up the table where you guys ate. Be careful by the track I got here. Sorry. 
Upside down. You was not upside down. So we will have this reading, but we are not going to pour it in there right away. Thank you. Angelique. Hey, Gabriel, did you clean up what your sister ate? I can't. I'm also dying. You said. No, you, yeah, she needs to clean up when she gets up, but it does not mean when it's your turn to clean up the table, you'll leave where somebody ate. Did you hear me? You need to clean the whole table, Angelique. You have meat in the sink. But it'll be good idea if she cleans it a little better when she was done. Okay, so we are going to mix this. Let's add our sugar to it before we forget. <laughs> I believe we have one cup of sugar, and that's pretty much how I decrease my you know, sugar in my. So that so we need me. So I need to put it on hand. So that I do not forget. Let me put my food in. How great is that? So let me put it in the oven to keep it warm. Angelique. Very, very dairy. So this stage I need to put my hand in it. So I'm not going to be, let's see if we can, I'll take this out. I need to have the milk open. And we can start by using the spoon. If the ingredients are cold, it's going to be cold to my hand. But it seems it's with the spoon, it's not much anywhere we can go. So I just like to put my hand in it and get to work. But if you get those ingredients out early enough to get them to pretty much like room temperature, there will be stocks enough for you to... I wish I washed my hand. By holding a leaf, the cream cheese is kind of slippery. It's working with this spoon even way better that I don't even need to put my hand in it. So if the cream cheese is soft enough, it won't be you won't see a lot of lump. It's the lump that will be the reason to put the hand in it. But I'm just now looking for them and breaking them.
if you do not take things out early enough you might just have to get your hand in it if you have spatula silicone spatula some heavy um, jewelry one you might use it very you want to use that side get your dish and use that side you don't need to get back to the dish either <coughs> We don't have those big chunks. from the freezer too. So yes, sour cream can go in the freezer. And this one didn't come from the freezer. So it's still together. But when it goes in the freezer, it tends to separate. And you can see the we have here. This container is more than one gallon. That's one cup. And frankly, I don't think I have uh, those crusts. I don't think that's enough. But I think I have a cross in the freezer. But I didn't take it out, so. Cool put um, this in the frozen on the frozen cross and put in the oven. My turn to see how it works. So you can see that one cup of sugar is not too much because this is quite a lot. And you can see. We didn't use the hand mixer and we don't have a lot of crumbs either. So I'm going to so much we are done. We are going to turn it. The kids ate but they all wash their dishes. People that the one that took their put their food in the freezer in the fridge, they transfer it to a dish they can close and they wash the plate. So the two girls will wash their own dishes and wash their brother dish as well and clean up where they ate. So
So I just need to clean up those car. But we do have this. And I need to open my freezer here to see. I have a cross. that I will fall back on. Wash my hand here. See how we are going to pour this without much mess. So I'm going to start with this one. And we do have leftover here, so you can see. So this just came from the uh, freezer. I'm going to pour it in it. So perfect. So those, so three boxes will be what we will need. I think I'm doing my cupboard here. Three. Boxes of crackers. Will have work. the amount of mixture that we have so I'm going to make sure I get everything Okay, I think I got real much what can come off. I'm gonna wash my hand here.
And pretty much what I'm going to do is and I'm just going to put them in the oven. This one. Let's see what we can do here. I start with this one. Let's see if this one find space. And we will set it at 300. So after an hour, I just turn the oven off and let it stay in there for 30 minutes. And then I'll get it out, leave it to cool down a little bit, and I'll put it in the fridge. But we need to make, I'm thinking about making some grace to so otherwise that's just the way I make cream cheesecake and we eat it but I'm going to make some grace to go with it in case you really want to put some grace on it you'll be able to do that friends where you are holding with your hand I think it's a little bit whitish but I'm not sure be careful with the towel the towel is touching the other places okay. so I'm going to if you want to see me stick around with me, I'm going to wash my hand, put the pizza away and start on the... In fact, to save time, we can start on the grays while we are working on those other things around. So that will be the way to save time. So I'm going to move to the side. I think my pen is still here. Let's go get Huba. What do I have here? Strawberries from the garden. We really use it. So let's start with Huba. And I'm going to take you with me to go get the rhubarb. So that's one way if you can grow your own food. You know, that's those things you can um, stock up on. We stock up on borders. We have a lot of them. When the goods are sell, we stock up on them. But we are here to from rubber. So we have multiple bags there. They are from the garden, and I think that's all we need from here.
going to wash my hand here. Oh, Bobby is really sour. So I'm just going to guess the sugar here. If it's sour, the kids will want it. I'm not going to measure anything right. I think that's plenty. So that's the half cup I'm using here. That's just by trying. When you're not sure, uh oh, should I be putting sugar at this time? Oh well, I just started already. So when you are not sure, you just make it. So if it's too sweet, next time you put less. So I'm going to serve it one cup and a half. That's what that is. This is as it's cooking, I can taste it and add more. But if I put too much, I'll be able to take it out. So I'm going to. Uh, I didn't have to push sugar right away so that they. they um, Robot can get some juice out first. Now that I did, I'm just going to put a little water on myself. Just a little water there. And let's bring it to a bowl. So while this is working, let's do the dishes. to keep the the sleeves as well to, to clean grease as well. Challenging to cook from scratch, but you can do it. You just have to 
have a list of those recipes that can cost you less than an hour to cook them and you know when you have every time you can make those dishes that will take you longer to please your family one thing i like to have in the pantry at all time is rice because it doesn't take much to put it on the stove that's one thing i can cook within an hour and to eat it i can make omelets and have a little oil on the side to go on it with some fresh onion from the garden to drizzle on it. Now we have chili pepper we can put on it for some of, some of us as well. So that's one meal right there. That can be done within an hour. Another one is having bread. I don't know when we want to get a rhubarb. We saw some bread there. Um, French steaks. Having those in the oven, you put them in the oven. Having them in the freezer, you put them in the oven for three at two fifty for about ten minutes. If you have water, you take it out. You see the way we make a pizza sauce. You have ground meat that you brown. You add it to the pizza sauce. You have. I don't know how you will call it, it's an juta version, but you can make some dishes like that. Uh, you can put uh, four steaks, throw it put in the oven for 30 minutes, it cooks. You slice it and put in the bread that you put bread in the pan. That's a quick meal to put together as well. You don't just have to have a piece of things that your family like to eat that you can make with it and now. That's too much when it comes to the house. That when you don't feel hungry or you don't feel like your brain is functioning well for you to think about what to do. You have those quick meals you can go back to. Or when you walk late, past the time you met him, you have those quick meals you can put together for your family to eat. And if you are trying to save money, which you should, whether you can afford full price. Well, you can afford to pay full price or now. Um, if an ingredient in your cooking goes on sale, you may go to stock up and pay for it when it's on sale rather than paying full price for it when you need it. Our food bag is going, so we need to go check it down. For some reason, I have it on high here. Perfect. I don't even think I need it to add that water to it. Because now, is, but that's good because we need to add flour to it. So, let's add the strawberry. You see, I'm not really following any direction here. I'm just adding things in a as seems like okay for me. So, I don't know, I'm just going to put the whole thing in it. And it is from the garden as well. Uh, 
I think we have time to make that flower. And this is not dirty. So what I like to do, I can either rinse it, but I'm not going to. I'll put it in the freezer. So that I can reuse it. Let's see what I have here that I can use. Don't want to get more dirty. Don't want to dirty more this before. Okay, so just add some water. I'm having really measure anything here. Add a cup of flour. And I don't know if that's too much. We can add more water, right? So, it's paste here. So, let's find water to it. That is cooking. Now measuring things. Just eyeball it. So when you do that, every time you cook something, the taste will be different. So from one recipe, you have different taste every time, depending on what you put in it, how much you put in it. The ratio of one ingredient versus the other. Okay, it's portable now. It can go in it. When it's ready, but well, we can buy it some time and can keep doing the cleaning here. Just wash that thing. So, I don't expect this. I don't know, but I like to wash those containers to see how I can recycle them in my office. Or the kids can use it. So if the container is easy to wash, I believe this one is six. You know that triangle that will have a number in it, six. I don't know what that means. Uh -oh, this one is broken. I will see my tongue clean it up. But those plastic, they come with a triangle with number in the, inside that triangle on the plastic, those food plastic or plastic in general, I believe. So it tells you, if you search it, what kind of plastic it is, you can reuse it or not. Some of them are not easy to clean, so the number will tell you you can go use it or not if you stretch it online. I have seen five, I believe, quite often. One as well. Six? No. Not really. Unless I don't remember.
Pour la vie, c'est des trouches. To put it in the basement and use another sponge. I'm talking about the cloth. That's me. Just watching this is us. I will stand on it. I want her to have like a pie full of a sink full of dishes that is this is here to take care of. It's just see like a lot of work when it's like that. So I just prefer to wash it as I go. And keep my sink empty at all times. And we have those things to wipe. But yeah, it's not boiling quite yet, so we can let it boil. But we can take care of our things here. I like to let those air dry. And if you are looking for towels, 100% cotton to wipe dishes, you can find it at ninasoap.com. And our soap is at ninasoap.com as well. No fragrance, no dye, no artificial color. In fact, I don't know why I'm wiping this. I will need it for the pizza. But I have to be very cautious though. I have three cream cheesecake pan there. I have to make sure I have this in the fridge. Otherwise, those pizza will go in gallon bags. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. This towel is getting wet. I can put it here to dry.